So, I mean, it's no secret that Bernie Sanders supporters are loathed by the mainstream media. And right after Chuck Todd quoted someone who referred to Bernie supporters as digital brown shirts. Yeah. Um, they talked about how, you know, Bernie's angry supporters might act if, theoretically speaking, the DNC just stole the nomination away from Bernie Sanders if he went into the convention with only a plurality and not an outright majority. And they just discussed this casually and you know there's a lot of implications so we'll watch and then i have a lot to say about this this is a part of the campaign that we never had to worry about four years ago yeah and i think the question becomes what if we get to the convention and bernie sanders does not have any more near a majority but he has a plurality he has 35 37 percent of the delegates and he goes to the convention and says i want more primaries than anyone else i have more delegates than anyone else i dare you to deny me the nomination That's exactly super delegates. What I was talking about. right you don't have super delegates anymore i mean on the first, the, ballot. Ooh, on the first on the, ballot at least yeah. on the first ballot you don't have the members of Congress who would be the elders. I mean, that was exactly the reform that the Bernie Sanders people demanded. So what they're basically saying is what happens if going into this convention, Bernie Sanders has a really great case for himself as the nominee. He has the most delegates. He has a plurality. He won the most votes and he doesn't get the nomination. It's taken from him and given to someone else like Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar. Will his supporters react in the same way that they react now online? How are they going to take that? Let me just say this. You shouldn't be worried with the way that Sanders supporters will react if the nomination is literally stolen from him. You should be worried that our democracy dies officially in the event that happens. That should be your primary concern. But the way that they talk about this is as if it's going to be a certainty that they're just going to take it from Bernie Sanders. And look, as it stands now, there's no guarantee that there won't be a contested convention because it doesn't necessarily seem like anyone will win outright. I hope Bernie Sanders gets a majority. But if going into the convention, he has a plurality and he doesn't become the nominee, and you're really curious about how we're going to react, just know that you don't want to find out. Because not only will Donald Trump be guaranteed a victory, the Democratic Party will be dead. Dead. Generations, millennials and Zoomers, and probably some Gen Xers, will never vote for another Democrat again. It will destroy the fucking party. And on top of that, Imagine hundreds of thousands of people, not just at the convention, but in cities across the country, protesting outright theft. I mean, the fact that they're not talking about this cautiously and, you know, explicitly and unequivoc unequivocally saying this wouldn't be acceptable. I mean, it's, it's mind boggling. You honestly believe that we're just going to be okay with you stealing the nomination if we work really hard and you just take it from us? No, fuck that. Um, the last Democratic Party nominee who won outright a majority was John Kerry. So that means that Obama, Hillary Clinton in 2016, Al Gore, I mean, they had a plurality. So for you to deny Bernie Sanders the nomination if he has a plurality when there's like a thousand candidates in the race, we wouldn't tolerate it at all. The party would be fucking dead forever. It would be dead. Do you understand? Like you're blackpilling a generation if you do that. So the fact that you're even just casually talking about this is very irresponsible. Like, I promise you, Donald Trump becomes the president again. He gets a second term if you do that. And on top of that, you lose just everything. You lose everything. You destroy your party at that point because you make such a brazen attempt to destroy democracy, that there's nothing to be recovered. Trust can never be rebuilt. Ever. So no, that's not going to happen. Now, they talked about this in a segment on CNN with Terry McAuliffe and David Axelrod. And they were actually a little bit more responsible. And they said, no, of course, that would be something that's horrible. Because this is something that is a possibility. They could try to take it from us. If this goes to second ballot and superdelegates vote... I mean, there is a possibility that they can steal it from us, which is why we have to make sure we work hard to ensure that we win on the first ballot. But regardless, getting to that clip, um, this is what David Axelrod and Terry McAuliffe had to say about this. Remember, yeah. the last nominee to go in who actually had the majority was John Kerry. 
if you remember. 2008, Hillary had to send her votes over. The same thing happened in 16. Sanders had to send. The last one who's actually gotten this on the first ballot, people forget, is John Kerry in 2004. But, of course, the, the change in rules relative to superdelegates not getting a say on that first ballot this time, but having a say for the subsequent ballots, if it comes down to that, who knows? It's a very it's fractious, generally, it never a does. Very I mean, this is more scenario. of a mythical thing on these superdelegates. Sure. It really doesn't. But let me say, if someone goes in and has the most delegates and the superdelegates change that, that's a disaster. Forget it. I think Go home, burn the house down. You're, you're gonna, you know, most but you know, with, with Trump, <laughs> everyone over. was talking about a contested convention with Donald Trump, and of course that went right up to the line, and that, that never materialized, although that was a very yeah. fractious convention with Ted Cruz's speech, if you'll recall. That's right. And the Republicans managed to win the... The presidency. Yeah. So but the you got to get 1,991 delegates. As I say, you got to go back to Kerry. It's the negotiations heading into it. And who will come out in those right. April states? Right. And we've got New York, Illinois, Michigan, Ohio. We've got some big states. So they say this is about negotiations, right? You've got to talk to the other candidates and put your delegates together. Um, no, it's not. If we get the most votes, we become the nominee. Period. End of story. We don't have to talk to Pete Buttigieg and barter with him or Amy Klobuchar. If anyone thinks that they can go in with less votes and become the nominee and still win, they are fucking delusional. Delusional. You will lose to Donald Trump by a larger margin than what Hillary Clinton lost to him by. He wins the popular vote and the electoral college and your party dies. How does that sound? The party will collapse. It can't survive as an institution if you do this. These are not the days where you can just go in a smoke-filled back room and choose who the nominee is going to be unilaterally. You don't get to do that. I know that that's how it was before, but if you want to survive as an institution, you can't do that. You cannot survive if you steal a nomination and brazenly undermine democracy like that. Now, David Axelrod pointed out that would be a disaster, and he's right about that, and I'm glad that he pointed that out. You know, Terry McAuliffe said if they're doing that, they're basically just burning the house down. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a possibility. And look, back in 2015, when there was a possibility, or 2016, that, uh, you know, Republicans would steal the nomination away from Donald Trump before it looked like he would have a majority, I actually defended Donald Trump and said that's unacceptable. I mean, yes, he's a terrible candidate. His policies are fascistic. But you have to really decide, are you committed to democracy or are you not? And if you're committed to democracy, then you have to be consistent. And what's really frightening to me, but unsurprising, is that every single Democrat screeched at the top of their fucking lungs about the popular vote. Now they're not saying shit now that Bernie won the popular vote in Iowa. They screeched for three years about Russia stealing the nomination away or stealing the presidency away from Hillary Clinton because of memes. And so if they were to just steal the nomination away... If they're stupid enough to do that, they collapse. The party couldn't survive something like that. Democracy couldn't survive something like that. So, I mean, if you're going to talk about this, be responsible. Don't just throw it out there and wonder, hmm, what would happen if we stole it away from Bernie Bros? Would they overreact like they do about everything? <laughs> I mean, what do, you, what do you expect? You expect us to just be like, oh, okay, well, we, we put up a good fight. But, I mean, the superdelegates spoke. Do you just honestly believe that that's what would happen? We would raise hell. We would protest in every single city across the country. That's unacceptable. That's undemocratic. How would you expect the Democratic Party to ever win another election again if you do this? You would have to wait like 100 years until everyone that's alive now dies and forgets about that. That's how bad of a situation that would be. And look, as someone who absolutely loathes Pete Buttigieg or Amy Klobuchar, if they were able to somehow win a plurality of delegates but were denied the nomination for like Joe Biden or even Bernie Sanders, I would on principle have to reject that because either you support democracy or you don't. Democracy is supposed to allow us to have options and work through the system to put up those options and win. And if you just outright deny us that when we follow the process and play by the rules, you, you can't win. It's not as, you know, uh, simple as Trump gets a second term if this happens. The party collapses if this happens. You never win again. You never win for our lifetimes until the next generation, my great nephew's grandchildren, forgets about all this. That's how bad the situation would be. So don't even fucking dare 
try it. The DNC better not even think about doing something like that. I know that they want to bring back superdelegates on the first round. A couple of DNC members are floating that. But if you truly want to have a party left, I mean, the fact that this is even something that anyone is thinking about as a possibility shows that American democracy is so fragile, it is on the verge of collapse. Democracies are, these are not things that last forever. We'll just put it that way. I studied comparative political science throughout grad school. And one thing that is certain about democracy is that it someday dies. You see democracies around the world pop up and then they become authoritarian regimes pretty quickly. It's amazing that we lasted this long. But if we have outright election theft like that, that's super brazen, you no longer have a democracy. You delegitimize American institutions. Democracy itself is no longer trusted. It goes away. Like, it would be absolutely devastating. So for them to even consider this, it really is just, it shows the state of American politics. We're in really, really bad shape. And they better hope that Bernie Sanders wins if they truly care about democracy because he is the only one, like FDR, who can save the system from collapsing in on itself.